it's goodbye Burners Beach and it's goodbye York Peninsula. Did not get a wink of sleep last night because of the delicious wind of course. It's always blowing a million miles an hour. Lovely. Um, I actually got up at 3 o'clock in the morning and was uh, in a state of delirium just going, oh, okay, I'm going now. And I was about to start packing up and then I thought, no, don't be silly. It'd be harder to pack up in the wind than sleep in the wind. So I hung out until morning. And yes, now it's goodbye after a week staying at Burners Beach in the York Peninsula. And I'm off to, I've got a choice, either Chinaman's Bay which is a little free camp. Um, Fitzgerald Bay, which is on the other side of Point Org Port Augusta. Or I could make for Wyala. Um, but I don't want to rush things, because I don't want to get to Sejuna too quickly, otherwise I'll have to join the massive shanty town of people waiting to get across the border. So I'll take my time. Um, might even have, if I, if I get very tired, I might even have a cheeky uh, motel stop somewhere, maybe to Augusta or something. Um, but I have been told no camping anywhere near Port Augusta because you'll either get robbed or murdered. And I've been told that reliably by several South Australian people. So, I'm only doing that. Anyway, catch you soon. Wish you really in, get a seat. Actually, it was apparently Lake Bumbunga. Uh, I do apologise to the residents. Um, I got the name wrong. This is the view from my cheeky little hotel site. And I just to charge batteries, both literal and metaphorical. And uh, so I'm staying here at the International Hotel in Port Curie. And this is the view from the balcony. Classic motel bed spread. But telly. <laughs> I don't know what to do with a telly these days. Alright. I'll switch out. Oh my god. It's very exciting. So I'm gonna go and bring all my stuff up. So this is Solomon Town Beach in Port Piri. It's Flinders Ranges over there. And the situation is changing rapidly because there's a massive weather front coming in along the Nullarbor Plain um, due to hit Sejuna and Port Augusta, which is just near here, um, with huge amounts of rain not great for tenting so I'm going to go and sneak into the Clare Valley and uh, stay at a site there or find a uh, find a site and see how it goes um, yeah have a look at how long this train is this is the longest train I've ever seen in my life
it's on. Well, that was fun. I was driving along the Port Augusta Freeway Highway and suddenly this massive ripping noise. And I look in my rear vision mirror and the surfboards and the kayak and the roof racks were flying down the road behind me. So I turned around, drove back, spent the last 45 minutes trying to repair the roof racks I haven't actually looked at the surfboards, but the fins are all smashed off. Um, <laughs> the kayak does seem to be in one piece. It's a very hardy kayak. Um, but yeah, I'll have to gingerly nurse my way to this campground. And I didn't think the wind could get any worse. No, I was wrong. Um, and see what the damage is. Fun and games. Stop for about an hour, 45 minutes. With the hazard lights on, nobody stopped or said, are you okay? So, I mean, there's, you know, traffic aplenty. Yeah. Loving it. Well, the surfboards, apart from the fins, survived. Thankfully. Um, and the kayak, nice and hard. And this is the Broughton. Valley campsite. This is where I'm going to be staying. This is one of the trees. And yeah, there's a bit of bird life around here. It's really quite really picturesque. It's the river, and there's a swimming spot just over there, apparently. This one goes. Like I haven't had enough drama for one day. I thought I'd do a little river crossing. Let's see what happens. at all. So 
you're, you're probably well aware of this by the time you watch it, but I just found out this morning that WA is postponing indefinitely the opening of their borders and uh, that pretty much means that the dream is over and I've become one of those silly people that tried to book something exciting during COVID. Um, I won't make a decision on what to do today or now because I've been up since two o'clock this morning thanks to the storm that came through and wind of course um, but I'm very tempted to just head back to Victoria and spend a bit of time in Torquay um, and maybe look into doing a arborist course for the next six months um, but yeah I'll assess my options today if I can find somewhere with a shower um, where I can just stop and maybe have a, a little nana nap and something and uh, yeah hopefully upload a video or two This, this is the local uh, Kulunga pub, built in 18, what is it, 71, um, straight out of Wake and Fright. The bartender was crossed between Rodney Dangerfield and uh, Donk from Crocodile Dundee. Um, and the cast and crew were the local bar flies who were um, very colorful characters indeed and I stayed for two beers and plenty of chat before running just in case they got me to come and go roo shooting and meet Donald Pleasance. Um, but yeah, a fun and interesting afternoon.